Hello and welcome to the Jacob Javits 2010 Comic Con Center. We're going to be interviewing artists from all over the place, anime, uh, Marvel Comics, and a lot of stuff. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Kids are massive enough to be a threat to the greatest villain of them all. Right now I'm standing next to Armani Scott, who is the creator of Majestics. Um, Armani, uh, what inspired you to create this? Well, actually my family, my son, my niece, and my nephew are the main characters. The main characters are based on them, and I, I love my family very much, and I wanted to create something to show how much I love them and to share with the world. Um, how did you start to draw? Well, actually, I'm the writer and the creator. Uh, Reginald Butler is the artist. He, okay. I come up with the ideas in my head, and I give him ideas, and I show him things that I like. I do research, and then he draws things, and we, we work together on, on coming up with it. But I'm the writer for the project. So um, how, do you like, how do you make your stories? What I always do is I start with good characters. I think about um, interesting people and interesting traits, and then I put them in, I try to put them in interesting situations and let them, let, let them sort of decide how the story goes. So once you have a good, a good story, a good person and, a, and an interesting setting, the story kind of takes on a life of its own. So um, what is the story about? Uh, the Majestics, it's an African-American superhero mythology. So the Majestics is about the Crenshaw family. They're an extremely wealthy philanthropic family. They do a lot of charity work in the United States. They've got a long history of good deeds in the United States. And there's, there's a, a mysterious explosion and most of the Crenshaw family dies. But these three teenagers, they survive. Asha, Henry, and Stanley. And they have superpowers. And initially they want to find out who, who, um, who, uh, who murdered their family. And they discover that they have a long history that dates all the way back to pre-dynastic Egypt. So there's mythology and Egyptian gods and goddesses involved. And the story takes on this whole life and they, be, they realize that they have a more important job than just getting revenge. They also have to be defenders of civilization and, um, and defenders of humanity. Who are the people they meet in the book? In the book, well, you have, we have some, uh, some great villains. We have Big Dub Walcott, he's the head of a multinational corporation. We have Brett Bank, he's an economic hitman. We have a character called the Hessian, who's a jackal, he's basically like a hitman. Uh, the Furies, they are, they are twin, they're two girls, and they're very cool and hip, but they're also uh, hit girls for hire. Then we've got um, some other uh, heroes, we've got uh, Uncle Fletcher, his, his code name is Logos, and we've got uh, Omar, and um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of great characters throughout the story, but those are just a few. Um, out of all the characters, who is your favorite? Well, my favorite is Mr. Blackstone. Um, Mr. Blackstone is the character that's based on my son, Stanley Crenshaw. He's a thrill seeker. He's, a, uh, he's into X Games. He's also a, a race car driver and he has superhuman strength and he's also a mechanical engineering whiz. So anything that you can think up or imagine in your mind, he can actually build it um, because he's such a whiz with mechanical engineering. How would you uh, rate this book? Well, on a scale of one to ten, I'd like to believe, I hope, that it's a ten. We put our heart and our soul into it. It's about our family. We love people we love very dearly. And we hope everyone loves it and enjoys it. We put a lot of uh, time, energy, and care into the project. And we hope everyone loves it. Do you think it's going to turn into a movie? That is one of our goals, absolutely. It's, uh, we, we wrote it. Um, actually, we've already written the first screenplay for the first movie. It's already done. Okay, well, thank you for your time and have a great day. Thank you very much. Awesome. Right now, I'm si sitting next to Franco, who's the creator of Tiny Titans. Uh, Franco, what was your inspiration to this? Um, well, Art and I, the, uh, we both created the comic book together, and uh, 
we the inspiration was uh, from our own backgrounds because we've been doing cartooning um, type of drawing for a very long time and DC Comics came to us and asked us if we would um, do the Tiny Titans in the same style that we, we did our other books in. Uh, do you think Tiny Titans is a very good uh, book? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a great book. It's a great book for kids uh, and adults. It's really all ages because it has jokes for adults and it has jokes for kids uh, and the drawings are really cartoony. Who's your favorite character out of all the characters you've created? Of all the characters I've created? <laughs> um, it, it's, it's in the Tiny Titans, it's got to be uh, Kid Devil or Robin. Those are always my favorites. Um, I like them too. They're very. I like Robin because he's yeah. Batman's partner. Yeah, he's Batman's sidekick, so you gotta yeah. like him. Yeah, he jumps all over the place. Yeah. So, um, how how do you draw, how did you first start drawing this? Um, again, just, I was drawing ever since I was a little kid, uh, and I've been drawing all my life, and uh, that's that's just what I do. How long did it take you? Did you like? How long did it take you to draw this well? Um, pretty much all my life, I'm still drawing, and I'm getting better every day because I keep drawing every day. So if you want to get better, you got to draw every single day. Uh, what's some advice for the people who want to draw? Just draw. Just keep drawing. Uh, if you want to be a writer and write stories, just write stories. If you want to be an artist, just be an artist. You got to draw every day if that's what you want to do. Uh, well, thank you for your day and have oh, a thank good you. Standing next to DC Direct, where they have all sorts of characters that come from DC Comics, such as Blackest Night, Batman Incorporated, The Return of Bruce Wayne, and Batman Arkham Asylum. They have characters such as Green Lantern, Robin, Batman, and the, jo the Joker, and Bane. Uh, they're really cool looking. I think it would be a 10 out of 10. And uh, I, I actually want, I actually want this whole spot and the game. Yeah. That's a late hyper combo. Good pull by the guy. Sitting back up to Iron Man. Iron Man didn't hit. Sergeant Star. X Factor activated by our challenger. 10 seconds left. The champ right now is turtling. He, he knows he's got this in the bag. First on the cannon might hit right here. Chipping away at Cap. Looks like that's game for a challenger. Done deal. We're number three in the books. Nice try, man. I thought you almost had that. Right now I'm at the Capcom booth where they're showing MVC3 slash my favorite. Um, it has such a great graphics. It's like Super Street Fighter 4. And I've played it, yes, it's very good. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to probably be the biggest hit in America. And Japan, the whole world. Actually, yeah. Right now I'm at the Dark Horse Center where they have toys that didn't even come out yet. Such as Toy Story, Uncle Scrooge, Peanut, Domo, Creepy, Eerie, and Dracula. They haven't come out yet, so watch out for them in stores such as comic stores and toy stores. This is Nico signing out of the 2010 Comic Convention. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.